You keep looking. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Go!
bastard's scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Okay, we mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on, it'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> you okay, miss? They came three days ago. Then father's meant me. <laughs> okay, miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. So, uh, it's okay. Uh, get on. Uh, we'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and 
good look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. You wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. <laughs> 